Hello everyone and welcome back to the VicTube, the channel where we do speed arts, tutorials and other stuff. I got this comment the other day saying, wow, I really like when you do these uh, face swaps. When uh, you're replacing a face with another face, you know, on paintings, pictures. And the commenter asked me, how do I do it when I face swap or, you know, change a face? And I tried to simply explain what t tools I use when I do these face swaps, but then I realized, hmm, I should maybe do a tutorial about it simply, so I said that as well. So here I am making a tutorial for it, let's see how it will turn out. It, this is totally improvised, so to say. The only things I have prepared is two images. The images we want the whole image of and a face to add on the image. So here we have a pretty old picture of uh, Beethoven, a music composer. I choose this one because, hey, I don't know, I, I really like how he looks. He looks disappointed in you, like you just told him you failed a test or something and he's like, really? Really? You're grounded. When I do these face swaps, the first thing which I think is pretty much important, if you want it to look good, I recommend you take a picture of yourself or whoever you want it to be, I recommend that you take a picture in the right angle, because if you're gonna take a random picture, it's gonna be a lot harder to make it look that it, that, that it actually belong. You want the face to actually belong to, like it been there all the time, or as close it can be, if you want it to look really good. So here we have it. I took a picture of my face, I tried to look as disappointed or whatever as he did. The quality, the quality is not much of importance since we are gonna replace most of my face with the painting style. We, we'll come to that, you, you will see why. Anyway, here you have the picture. Now we're just gonna resize it, so, so it has the same size as the original. When I do these uh, resizes, I mostly focus on the eyes, so they're right in the proportions, or at least as far away from each other as the original. And also, I also, when I transform, I draw down the opacity, so I see what I'm doing. And now we can pull up the opacity to 100 again. So I'm gonna just add a layer mask, and with the, with the brush tool, the color black, and with the layer mask selected, I can simply start brushing away what I want to remove from my original picture of my face. But I'm not gonna use much of my face, just just uh, pretty much the mouth, the nose and the eyes, maybe a little bit of forehead, I don't know, we'll see. Here and yeah, we're getting somewhere. Uh, even though I wanted it to match with his eyes in height and center, it might not when you see how it Maybe it's going to look like you might want to readjust to it. I do not have that small chin, so maybe I will move it up a little bit. Even though it won't match the eyes anymore, it will still look a little bit better. We're, we're, we're getting there, we're getting there. We're not far, we're not far. If you're a pure amateur, you would say, Whoa, this looks amazing! But when you've done this for a while, you... you no. No, this is not amazing. This looks like shit. So we're gonna keep moving on. It's starting to become uh, transparent. You can also do this with the cheeks, maybe. One or two, twice, like this. And maybe with the shin as well. And you see, uh, it's starting to melt in a little bit. You can't do this with the darker parts, like the eyes, it won't be good. But you can do this with the cheeks and forehead, chin and stuff. And you can see it starts to blend in more and more. Starts, looks kind of good. Wow, I look seriously angry. <laughs> so there you have it so far, but it looks kind of good, but we're not we're not having the right colors. As you can see, I look a lot more pale than uh, the original one. He has a little bit red and yellowish on his face, so we're gonna add that. And there's some ways to do this. I would simply use maybe color balance and make that click. So. The color layer will, will only work on this. Simply hold Alt on your keyboard and press between and you see this arrow will pop up which will make um, this one only work on this one. Sorry my bad English, I can't help it. We're gonna start with the mid-tones. We're gonna drag this down 
so you see it you, you can you can see if I tweak too much that wow that's a lot of yellow so we want something in between not well, not too much not too much since we're gonna work with the shadows and the highlights as well it's a lot better now and you can work with this for as long as you like you don't don't be impatient with it just just flip it back and forward until you really satisfied uh, and since I took uh, the picture of myself with such a crappy camera you can see I'm pretty smudged I'm not as crisp as uh, the rest of the painting so we're gonna fix that too so we're gonna make a copy of my face just to have in case I do something you know that doesn't look good with it so I always have an original in a sp in spare so to say there are multiple ways to do this to make it more crisp. You can either go to filter and uh, sharpen it, maybe use unsharp mask and uh, you can do that. Uh, but my favorite way to do this is simply go to adjustment, desaturate, make it all black and white. And then go to filter other high pass. And what we, this will do, it will take this black and white image and simply focus on the the contrasted parts in the image. Press OK. That's the sharper part. So now we're gonna simply change this with uh, the blending mode. And we're gonna take it to overlay. And now you see it's a lot of sh a lot sharper, a lot sharper. So if I click away this, you can see uh, it's a little bit blurry. But when I put it on again, a lot sharper. And wow, it actually start to looks pretty good. But uh, I'm not satisfied, it's all about the details, so we're gonna go a little bit deeper into this. Many would probably be happy with this, like, damn, this looks good. I can put this on my Facebook. It looks kinda good, but uh, not, mm, it's okay, I think, if you wanna make it a really short work of it. But I, I want to do more, I want to do more. So we're gonna take uh, the original painting, and we're gonna use parts of it on my face just to make it even more realistic. So I'm gonna start with a chic here. And we copy this. So, as, as you can see the shape of Beethoven's face, it's not uh, the same as my cheek. So we're gonna have to transform it a little bit. So we go to transform and go to warp. And with warp you can well transform it however you like it. Something like that. And we don't want these sharp edges and st such, so we're gonna just make a layer mask on that one as well. Use with a brush. And start with 100% there. And we're gonna start paint away a little bit. Maybe a smaller brush. You know, paint this away a little bit so it blends in with my face instead. <laughs> and also, we will hold in Alt. And click here so that it, you, it will only work on my face. I'm gonna do this with pretty much the whole face. I will probably speed it up. So, we're, you know, this looks really weird, but you're gonna understand why because I'm this is not nearly done. So, I'm just gonna do this now. It's not connected to any parts of my face anymore so, but don't worry we're gonna take all of these new beautiful layers we made and we're gonna press merge layers so now they're all in one simple layer wow that looks creepy and simply go to and change the layer mode of them to overlay uh, it looks kind of good ish but what we did here was stealing the texture from the original image so now it starts to starting to look a little bit more like the original. But uh, we have a little problem with the color. So I'm just going to go to image adjustments and hue saturation. And pull back the saturation like minus 50. So not, we're not going to go all the way because it's <laughs> I will look very pale then. So we're just going to go to minus 50. So... It looks kind of good-ish. Yeah. I would probably accept this, but I'm gonna go further. So, what I'm gonna do is simply take 
my face, the original image, and make it. I, and this step is not necessary if you're not used to this. It's kind of a time stealer. You will waste a lot of time if you do this. But I think to make it even more good, we're gonna make my face look like an actual painting. So to do this, we simply, I made a copy there just to have the original as usual. And we're gonna use the smudge tool with a very small one and simply draw this back and forth to make it look like more of a painting. And we will speed that up too so you don't have to watch all of that. So, something like that. You can't probably see the change right now, but if I do this like this, you can see that, uh, that I smudged out the pixels, or so to say. So now it looks kind of more like paint-ish. So if I try remove, you can see that it's all more mushed out, smudged out. So it, like, it looks way more like a painting. A painting with a lot... Yeah, I think in the end, it's all about the eyes. The eyes are key, the key of a painting, if it you know, looks more like a painting or not. And to make it even more look like a painting, it all ends up on the eyes. You, as you can see, there's a reflection in my eyes, which looks kind of weird on a painting. The old painters did do reflection on the old paintings, as you can see in the... In this original one he did not, but some painters did do that and it looks it looks very well done but it does not look remotely like this. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna simply remove the reflection here and see what it looks like. Yeah, that's lo it looks better but we I still think a little bit of light in the eyes will make it look even better. So we're gonna add our own little bit of flare in the eyes. To make you know make make it look like I actually do have a soul. When it looks like the, this, it looks like you know um, I look like the spawn of Satan or something. Let's move, make our own unrealistic light, and most cases I simply use a simple blip, something like that. Maybe even bigger, so it even goes all over the way over the color part of my eyes. Maybe something like. And that, yeah, uh, yeah, maybe something like that. Looks a little bit smaller since that eye is, you know, a little bit further away from the other eye. And I'm gonna make it be ab around the same spot as the other one. It's all about the details, something like that. And now, if I just merge these two, I feel like, no, I don't want it over the way there. I can go like this, or maybe like that, no, no. I think since the light are coming from this way of the face, it's gonna be something. <laughs> Holy shit, that looks creepy. <laughs> but it looks good though. It looks way better than it did before. And it might be a little bit too white. We can put down the opacity a little bit at 80, maybe? So you know, it, it doesn't pop out as much. Wow, it looks way better than it did before. Let's see if I can take it back like it looked before. <laughs> that looks kind of weird. So this is what it, the light with the eyes looked like before. And I, don't, I didn't like it really much. And when we change it now, I don't know. It looks way much better. It actually looks like I'm looking at the light source from which, which the painting has. You know, the light comes, you know, away from here and crash down the face. And the light also reflects in my eyes. It's pretty much done now. What you can do is, I think I have a little bit, I'm missing a little bit of color in my face, but that's that's good because it's not good, but you can always go back to this color layer and keep switching it back and forth until you feel like, oh yeah, we're getting somewhere about there. But you know, it's all, it's details, 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 details. Yeah, you can see I was a little bit pale still, but now, uh, yeah, this looks kind of good, actually. I think I'm pleased with this, to be honest. There's so many more things I could do with this, but uh, I just want 
to show you the basics of what I do when I do these kind of face swaps. But to the commenter who asked, asked me to do a tutorial of this, I hope this answers some of your questions and um, yeah. As I said, it, you could do a lot more to this. I think this is a solid work which you can put up whatever you wanted, Facebook, Twitter, <laughs> just to make your friends laugh. This is very, very acceptable in my opinion. Uh, anyway, I hope this tutorial was of use for you who are trying to do face swaps. You could share it if you want or, uh, you know, leave a like, whatever. <laughs> or leave a comment if, you know, if there's something you think I should have done more. Uh, opinions are never a, a bad thing. It's Mostly not. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching and have a good one.